All right, Shella Walman says we live. Check the feed. Wow. Bear with us. Bear with us. Bear with us. <clears throat> we good? Yes, sir. Right, there we go. There we go. All right, Shella Walman. All right, hold on. Let me share my screen here. All right, Lawrence Will, that's pulled up. All right, you got it, Akia. Con, this is the book of First uh, John, chapter two, verse eighteen. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist, Salakia, Anti Hamashiach, shall come. Even now are there many Anti Hamashiach, whereby we know that it is the last time. Verse nineteen. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Mm -hmm. Read in verse 19 in the NLT, 1 John 2 and 19, it reads, these people left our churches, but they never really belonged with us. Otherwise, they would have stayed with us. When they left, it proved that they did not belong with us. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Before we get started, GMS Charlotte, back at you with another live lesson. All right, before we get started, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham. Rakakwadash, <clears throat> double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring in the house of David, the elect, that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. All right. Wow. Back, at, back at you with another live lesson through the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. All right. And uh, we want to get into this lesson here entitled The Lord Yahweh Bashim El Shai is causing the separation and the sift take heed all right and we wanted to talk about this because uh ultimately yahweh shimei was is causing the separation between the wise and foolish virgins all right and many will be found naked in the time of the lord's return man all right we're going to touch on that because as you've been seeing that's been going on amongst the uh circumcision okay there's been a lot of rebellion going on niggas have been bugging out despising order Okay, leaning upon their own understanding, coming in their own spirit, their own way, and ultimately being blinded by their own thoughts, man. All right, because uh, with some of the things that we saw, we saw uh, uh, you know, the issue with the long haired demon. All right, you got Jake that doesn't want to come under the order of the apostles, you got false brethren, false brothers, niggas just, just want to do what they want to do, not abiding in what the scriptures say. All right, you got Jake out there teaching for uh, uh for strife. And contention, all right, vainglory, you know, niggas want views and attention, all right. So, right now, in the spirit, the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai is manifesting the true intentions of a lot of people, man. You see that? And that's what we're going to touch on in this lesson, all right. Let's pull that image back up because this is a heavy image, right? It's a lot of sifting going on as the apostles, elders, and brothers have been going into, all right found this picture online here it says a time of shaking it says straight testimony to the remnant church right and who's the remnant church the elect the body of the elect it says some will not stand the shaking right that's heavy it says and then you can see here it says the standard is too high <laughs> you see that you know you got certain men that can't handle the um you know the standard the order of things all right, there's a particular order that Yahweh Shimei was set up on the earth. I know how things are supposed to go. All right, but, right. but but let's get into um, let's get that first scripture. Let's go to um, let's let's start off with First Peter chapter five. Let's go there. All right, God. and Lord willing, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the church. You know, the elect. All right, you sincere believers, and Yahweh Shimei was Those out there that truly fear. Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man, because the Lord is causing, the Lord is making a clear distinction right now, all right, of those wise and foolish virgins, all right, those foolish virgins tying into two thirds, all right, 
false prophets and false brethren man all right there's a great there's a great shaking that's going on in the midst of israel all right but you got it up god this is first peter chapter five and verse one the elders which are among you i exhort who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of hamashiach and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed that's right <clears throat> verse two feed the flock of the most high which is among you taking the oversight thereof not by constraint but willingly not for filthy lucre but of a ready mind mm -hmm. neither as being lords over yahweh shimmy awashai's heritage but being in being in samples to the flock right so we as leaders as men of the lord all right we were set up to be examples unto the flock all right go ahead verse four and when the chef shalakia and when the chief shepherd shall appear ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away uh-huh likewise ye younger submit yourselves unto the elder mm -hmm. yeah all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility and be clothed with humility uh, with humility all right and a lot of people are not clothed with humility we see that it's a lot of pride and arrogance going out you know a lot of me 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 doing my own thing my uh, uh it's all about me all right what i see is right you know like i said leaning upon their own understanding all right there's a lot of individual there's a lot of individuals out here that are blinded by their own thoughts all right by their own mind and the scriptures tell you that in jeremiah 17 in verse 9 that the mind is desperately wicked who can know it you know Kyle, go ahead may i get a quick precept you got it brother because we know that the enemy of uh humility is what pride mm -hmm. you know and what you know the elder has been going into as well as other brothers you know that 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 pride is being shown on a lot of these fallouts that are just rebelling and trying to come up against the order that's been established by how about shimmy i was shy that's right this is a uh, proverb 16 and 18. pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall okay so this way that these people are carrying on right this is their fall this is their demise and destruction you know going back to that image the standard was too high you know mm. they took pride in whatever they thought was the right way and now look at them <laughs> you see at the bottom it says eternal loss mm. just because you didn't like the order that was already established because we have to understand there's always been order the, the lord has always dealt in order the scriptures tell us in 1 Corinthians 14 and 40, let all things be done decently and in order. So Yahweh Bashim Shai has set up a governing body to orchestrate that order and for and for those things to be done mm -hmm. as such. And you just gotta ride with it. Yep. So so we are most definitely in the time of shaking, man. Okay. The the separation, the sift is very real. And you have individuals that are being sifted out and don't even know it. All right. Like I said, many have been many individuals have been blinded by their own thoughts. Can you give me real quick Sarah three and uh was it verse 24? Bible yes, then we'll go back to that first Peter 5. Sarah 3 and 24 reads, For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Many are deceived by their own vain opinion. All right, your own thoughts. That's why you have to filter your thoughts through the Holy Spirit. Okay, go ahead. And an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Yeah, evil suspicion has overthrown the judgment, man. You got you have individuals saying that they don't need the brotherhood. You got niggas that don't want to cut their hair. All right, vanity, man. And a lot of you niggas out there that don't want to cut them dirty ass dreadlocks off is because you do it for the women. <laughs> All right, that long hair is really for the bitches, man. I'm gonna call it straight. All right and that's what it is you know hey the, the women they they like the they like the long hair they like to play in niggas dreads and shit man you know you want a bitch to grease your scalp and shit right that's what you niggas is about that's why you don't want to cut the hair right jake falling out getting all emotional don't want to come under the orders because he don't want to cut his dirty ass dreads off man get with the program right go ahead I. gone 
All right, did you want me to continue on in uh, Sirach or jump back to First Peter? Uh, read that. Uh, read that Sirach for me again, Baba Kusha. <clears throat> uh, Sirach chapter three, verse twenty-four. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Yeah, that's right. And an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment, man, because you're not, you're not, you're not thinking uh, 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 straight. You know, your thoughts are not being filtered through the spirit, man. Right? You're leaning. You you you're trusting. See, there's a lot of jakes that's that's trusting in their own spirit, man, in their own thoughts, coming in their own spirit, in their own way. All right. Like Yahweh Shai said in, in John the 10th chapter. Matter of fact, one more. Let's get that. Con. John the 10th, the 10th chapter. All right. And what did Yahweh Shai say? Let's get that. John 10 and read verses uh, one through three. Bible for shot. Right. This is this is John the 10th chapter, starting at verse one. Verily, verily, red letter Yahweh Shai speaking. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Right. And you got guys that are trying to climb up another way. They're trying to go up their own way. They don't want to come in the way that they don't. Basically, they're not sticking the sound doctrine. OK, you got individuals. Whole Rome is the 10th chapter as well. You got individuals that are coming in their own spirit. They're not they're not sticking to the doctrine that Yahweh Shah would have taught. Right. They're trimming the gospel. You see a niggas. Uh, 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 trimming the scriptures, changing up the doctrine to fit their narrative, right? Like the bug out that you saw, I forgot the name of, uh, you know, where he's at, all right? But he tried to justify of having long hair and, and, and having dreads, all right? He twisted up the um, the scripture, and I believe it was in Luke, the 21st chapter, all right? So the bottom line is that you see a lot of rebellion going on, man, all right? They, and they're trying to climb up another way, all right? They don't want to come through the way that Yahweh Shai set up. And the Lord lock, likened unto them as a thief and a robber. Okay, going back, and you can link that up with the Book of Jude. The elders told brothers to uh, uh, to read the Book of Jude because that's going on right now. Certain uh, uh, false brothers uh, uh, that crept in unawares. You know, these uh, thieves, and, these thieves and robbers. You know, agents, spies, false brethren, etc. Man, you know, so it's a lot of. It's a lot of uh, uh, janky shit that's going on right now, man. But this is all part of what? The, the shaking, the sift. Read on, Ock. And if I may, can I uh, pull up this word for door in the blue letter? You got it. It's uh, in the Strong's definition. It's G2374. Um, definition C, subsection 3. It says the door of the kingdom of heaven denotes the conditions which must be complied with. In order to receive, in order to be received into the kingdom of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. That's right. Okay. So there's there's compliance that has to be done in order for you to actually enter into the kingdom. That's right. You can't go about it, you know, trying to do as the other has been going into throughout the whole lesson. You're trying to go up some other way. You're trying to do it your way. You're trying to make sense of the scriptures to fit your narrative and curtail. This so that it can benefit you, but ultimately the truth is the truth, and that's what's gonna stand at the end of the day. Yep. So any other it, way that you try and twist it, it ain't gonna benefit. Exactly. And as a result of that, you're gonna get sifted out. <laughs> that's why this picture is powerful, man, because this is going on right now in the spirit. That's why you know you gotta fear your how about Shimia was shot, man. You gotta make sure you're operating in the spirit of the Lord and not in the spirit of your own self. You know, go ahead, out. Okay. Uh, John chapter 10, verse 2. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Mm -hmm. Read to down to verse 4. Con, verse 3. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his sheep, his own sheep, by name, and leadeth them out. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Right, the sheep, all right, the true believers in Yahweh Hashem Shai, they follow him for they know his voice. What is his voice? Sound doctrine, all right. right. Sticking to what Yahweh Shai taught, all right. Not trying to come up another way, trimming the gospel, all right. To fit, like you said, to fit your narrative. Okay, read on up. Come, verse five. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. But will flee from him. Go ahead. 
for they know not the voice of strangers. Right. And then you make that example at Camp Ock about how when you actually pay attention to sheep, you know, how they actually stick to the voice of the uh, of the true shepherd. God, you know? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a video on YouTube that pretty much like shows this uh, this 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 parable that Yahweh Shai was making here. When you look at like a shepherd and his sheep, there's this video on YouTube of all these people that are trying to call the sheep and the sheep weren't paying them any mind. But as soon as the shepherd came and said the exact same thing that the other people were saying, the sheep, all, they automatically ran to him, mm. you know, Heavy. and it's like in this, that's that's likened unto us, you know, with the sound doctrine. That's it. That's it. Now, before we go back to first Peter five, let's get one more. Let's go to Romans, the 10th chapter, just to make these points. All okay. right. Because like I said earlier, man, there's going to be a many, there's going to be many Israelites out there that's going to be found naked in the time of the Lord's return. All right. We're seeing niggas lose the oil. All right. They lack the breath, the true breath. Right. Which is basically the full understanding. OK, it's a lot of oil leaks going on, man. A lot of guys are being revealed. True intentions are being exposed. All right. A lot of strife and contention, a lot of bullshit that's going on behind the scenes. And, and, and like I said, this is all the, the working of Yahweh by Shema was shy. He's the one. That's causing the separation in the sift. Okay. Go ahead. Romans 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for Yasha Allah is that they might be saved. Mm -hmm. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but not according to knowledge. That's right. But not according to the true knowledge, to the true way. Right. You got a lot of Israelites that are so-called woke, right? But they lack the breath, okay? They have a zeal according to the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Go ahead. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness mm -hmm. have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. You see that? So they're going about to establish their own righteousness, okay? And not the righteousness of Yahweh by Shema Washah. They want to do things how they see their way, how they see fit. All right. They want to teach the doctrine on how they see it, not according to the truth, not according to what Yahweh Shah taught. Right. And that's why all of this rebellion that's going on, this, this despising order. All right. Uh, certain men out there being blinded by their own minds and thoughts. All right. That's going to get them sifted out of there. All right. A lot of these guys. All this stuff is being is going on to prepare certain men out there for judgment, man. You know, so let's go back to that uh, first Peter, uh, the fifth chapter. We stopped at uh, we stopped uh, at five. verse five. Yeah, read verse five again, man. Probably God, this is first Peter chapter five, verse five. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Submit yourselves unto the elder. All right, there's rank and order. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, all of you be subject one to another. That's right. And be clothed with humility. And be clothed with humility. Go ahead. For Yahweh Bashim Yahushai resisteth the proud. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai resists the proud. And there's certain men out there that that can't even see that the Most High has resist has resisted uh, resisted them. He's rejected them. Go ahead. And giveth grace to the humble. Mm -hmm. Verse 6 Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai That he may exalt you in due time See that the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the power That's going to exalt you not yourself Alright because you got guys As we're talking about here They want to exalt themselves Okay they're all about the vain glory The views the attention Okay Being the top guy all right, all of this worldly bullshit that you're seeing going on, false brethren, all right, not abiding in the scriptures, teaching for strife and contention. All right, all these things that the Lord has allowed to manifest, because as I said, the Lord is making that distinction of who the true prophets are, man, versus the ones that are not. Go ahead. God, verse seven, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, 
walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Right, right. And that's the point. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And there's a, there's a lot of cats out here that are that are about to get devoured, man, that are blinded through what? Through pride and arrogancy. All right. Your own feeble thoughts. OK, that are not coming in the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai. That's why we say this all the time. There's plenty of guys claiming that they're coming in the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai, but really they're coming in, in the spirit of their own selves, their own bellies. All right. They're not they're not coming in the spirit of the Lord. Right. And that's why we said going back to the imagery. All right. The sif and the separation is very real, man. All right. The elder Manatazatba did a mighty lesson. OK. I want to say yesterday, all right, sifting, do you really understand it? Right. Do you really understand what's going on right now, man? Okay. This is the Lord, man, separating those wise virgins from the foolish, man. Because we understand that what? That we're in a time of what? Judgment. Grace and mercy is about to be removed, man. All right. All this shit talking, this pride and disorder and dysfunction is going to be met with, with, uh, met with judgment, man. <laughs> You know, all this resistance, this bullshit that's going on, it's going to be met with a, with a very harsh judgment, man. All right. So certain guys out there are being sifted and don't even know it. Let's get that in Luke 22. You can read it out. Con, did you want me to drop off uh, First Peter? That's it. Yeah, that was it. Con, all right. This is uh, the book of Luke, chapter 22 and verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon. Referencing Peter, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. You see that? Satan has desired to have you, man. You know, see, the spiritual demon Satan, he already got two thirds of these niggas in the world, man. He got them already, right? Mm -hmm. Satan desires to have the elect. Satan had, he told Peter, Satan's the, Satan has desired to have you, man. Go ahead. That he may sift you as we. That he may sift you as wheat. Okay. Some would not stand the shaking. Okay. The standard is too high. Right. That he may sift you as wheat. Let's get that word for sift. I'll pull it up. Uh, okay. Okay. Satan have desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. All right. So let's get this word for sift. Strong's G, 4617, Seniazo. Seniazo. Mm hmm. For that word, sift. It says to sift, shake, and deceive. Definition two, figuratively by inward agitation, right? Hey, certain men got demons on them, man. The demons is agitating your mind, all right? By inward agitation to try one's faith to the verge of overthrow. You see that? So, so that's heavy, man. So, so, so it, men are being tried, man. Say, and the Lord is allowing Satan to try, uh, to try all of us, really. All right, yep. to test your faith. It says to the to to try one's faith to the verge of overthrow, man. And there's men that's being overthrown and don't even know it. You see, this is why this this, this sift this separation is very real. This is why you're supposed to have a healthy fear of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. OK, because the Lord could put a spirit on you, you know, and blind you. You think that you actually think you ain't doing nothing wrong, but you actually going way the hell off. Right. That's why you got niggas bugging the hell out. Right. It's a bug out demon that's been hopping on certain men and niggas have been bugging out big time. man. And we've been seeing it all through the circumcision, man. OK, despising order. All right. Fake phony brothers. All right. You know. Just various things, you know, the list goes on. It says, it says, uh, a sieve to riddle figuratively sift. Um, yeah, that's the point, man. So, so Satan desires to, he, he desires to sift you as wheat, right? This is why you got to be on point. And this is why in this time now in the end, we have to exercise discipline more than ever, man. We got to make sure that we're on point. The priest Amawan did a lesson entitled uh, 
one mistake away from being destroyed, roughly paraphrasing, man. And that's humbling, man. Okay? We're in a time, hey, the Lord, you see what the Lord is doing out here, man. Mass judgment, as we talked about, rapper upon rapper getting axed. Niggas is just getting put to death left and right. All right? There's been serious judgments that's been going on in these last days. And 2023 is most definitely the year, okay, that we hope that all these prophecies come to pass. So this is a very heavy time, man. That's okay, great. so you got to make sure that you're walking correctly in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You got it out. Go ahead. Con, I just wanted to add something to you because uh, you made a point that Jake is going off and they're fully persuaded in their minds that they're not doing anything wrong, right? Right. Uh, Job 12 and 16 with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his, you know? So just to add to the point, as the elder has said, man, you know, it's, it's it's a scary thing to be involved in this truth and not have fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can have you fall through these cracks that you see in that in that dish. You know, he can have you fall through in the sifting period. You know, some will not stand the shaking and fall into the eternal loss, you know, mm -hmm. and not make it on this go around and be born in the kingdom. And none of us want that to happen. Sure. You know, I, I, I don't want that for any any brother, you know, nor sister, no 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 sincere brother or sister, man. You know, mm -hmm. so we have to continue to stand fast, man, and just abide by the order. Mm -hmm. Don't waver. Don't don't feel like oh I need to start doing. I got to start questioning shit. Like no, don't, because <laughs> that's Satan. That nigga Satan feeds off confusion. You know, the sure. order is concrete. The order is set. No reason to question. So, and that's why as we get closer to the time of the Pesach, right, we're seeing this mass rebellion increase, okay, because the Lord is about to really bring forth a heavy judgment. And it's, all, and it's always like this as we get close to the uh, to the time of the Passover, man. And Lord willing, we're found worthy that that Yahweh by Shimei was shy, pass over us. He cover us, you know, that we that we're exempt. All right. From the time of judgment, man. You know. That's why we're fighting for what? For the hedge. We're fighting for the hedge of protection from the Lord in the time when the time of Jacob's trouble comes. All right. We have, you know, we have a safe haven, man. You know, we're covered under the shadow of the almighty, as the scriptures say, man. But a lot of a lot of people ain't going to make it. Right. So from there, let's go to um. let's go to Matthew chapter 25. All right. The separation and the sift is real. All right. From the wise virgins from the foolish let's go to matthew 25 and we'll start at the top gone this is uh matthew 25 verse 1 red letter yahweh shai speaking then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom right the bridegroom is yahweh shai man all right go ahead and five of them were wise and five were foolish yeah, the five that were wise represents the elect, okay? And the five were foolish is the two-thirds false prophets and false brethren, all right? Mm -hmm. They were likened unto foolish virgins. Read on. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. See? They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, all right? The oil breaks down to what? Thoroughly breaking down the scriptures correctly, all right? Going into the meaning of words, definitions, etc. You know, giving the full understanding. That's part of having the oil. Also tied into what? Having the garments. Okay. So you got men out there. All right. Those foolish virgins that took their lamps and took no oil with them. All right. Niggas are bugging out. <laughs> oil leaks, man. Pride, arrogancy. You know, lose basically losing the spirit, if you will, man. Jake like a car going bad on the highway. Just, just going crazy on the e-way. Man, let me add on to that. Come on. Go to Proverbs 21 and get uh, verse 20. All right. Proverbs 21 and 20. Uh-huh. This is Proverbs uh, 21 and verse 20. There is treasure to be desired in oil in the dwelling of the wise. Mm-hmm. There's treasure foolish... to... Salakia. Read it one more time. I didn't mean to cut you off. Salakia. No, no, no. Salakia. That's my bad. 
Proverbs 21 and 20. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But a foolish man spendeth it up. But a foolish man, going back to the foolish virgins, they spin it up. All right. And that's why we're seeing that these guys are losing the spirit and losing the oil. All right. Talking about some, uh, uh, you know, the Lord is dismantling great millstone. He's breaking that group up, all that. <laughs> right. No, the, the Lord is dismantling you. All right. You're the one that's losing the oil, losing the spirit, man. All right. And you know, it's, you know, it's heavy about that, Zaquan. It's like Jake don't see that it's a it's a cycle. So like, Jake doesn't see that it's a cycle. You know, mm -hmm. like this isn't something that's happened before. Right. You know. These mm -hmm. these people that try to come up against the truth, the scriptures say there's nothing that you can do against the truth before the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's been a perpetual thing with individuals that try to come up against the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, yep. the men that teach the hundred percent truth of the doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Not, nothing, nothing ever good comes of it. But yeah. they think that they're gonna break the cycle. Exactly. And, and we've seen this before. All right. We've seen like like a few years ago. Um, you had this uh <laughs> they called themselves the Avengers, you know what I'm saying? Uh Yako Wacko, right? Yakanan it was, was his name, and he he had a whole bunch of bug out demons with him. Uh uh uh, Chicago tried to re try to refine, all right. Element, all right, which was uh, was which was the head of the uh, Dallas camp. All these niggas came together, thinking that they were going to come against the body of the uh, of, of Great Millstone, you know. And all of that failed. And now we see that same spirit reincarnated all over again. You got men teaming up behind the scenes, demons coming together, all right, scoffing, mummering, talking shit, all right, to try to uh, uh, come against the body. But really, the Lord is using them, okay. Like the elders were saying, the Lord is really uh, using them to sip out the ones that 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 don't need to be around us, that don't uh, belong with to us anyway. All right, that's all part of the separation, the sip that's going on, man. So everything is spiritual, right? So go ahead, go back, God. Come. This is uh, Matthew twenty-five and verse four. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Verse five, while the bridegroom yeah, but they, carried. But they said, Salakia, it says, but the wise, all right, took oil in their vessels with their lamps. So the elect would be teaching the word correctly and righteously, thoroughly breaking down the scriptures. All right. Sticking to what Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai would have taught. They That's wouldn't right. veer, they wouldn't veer from from uh, uh, from sound doctrine. They wouldn't be coming in their own spirit, right? Go ahead. Continuing on, it says, verse 5, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Mm -hmm. And at midnight, there was a cry made, behold, the bridegroom coming. Go ye out to meet him. Right. And we're in that time of what? Basically the third day, man. The raising up the elect. All right. The elect standing back upon their feet, that cry being made, you know, the uh, uh, the Israelites waking up, you know, and this is the time that what? That we're, we're getting ready to uh, uh, meet the bridegroom. Okay, Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Gone. Verse 7, then all these, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Yeah, that all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps going into what? Those, those wise virgins. They trimmed their lamps. Let's get that word for trim real quick. God, that's the spirit I was just thinking of. Right. Bear with me. All right. This is the word for trim. Strong's G 2885. Cosmeo. Cosmeo. For the word trimmed. All right. It says to put in order, arrange, make ready. See? Prepare. All right. So those wise virgins are putting themselves in order. Right? Pursuing the what? Psalms. 50 and 21 hold that on that god all right to so put in order arrange make ready prepare all right those wise work those wise virgins are making themselves ready they're preparing it says to or it says to ornament adorn metaphorically to embellish with honor gain honor all right so those wise virgins are making themselves ready all right they're doing what they need to do to, to get in order okay to make ready give me that scripture real quick god 
Khan. This is uh, Psalms chapter 50, verse 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou, Salakia, thou thouest, Salakia, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and such and one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Yeah, there you go, man. So the Lord is, is setting the elect in order. This, that's what it's about. We're making ourselves ready. Lord willing, we're part of that number, man. Come on. All right. We're making ourselves ready for what? For salvation. All right. Lord willing, we're exempt from judgment. Okay. That that this sacrifice that we're putting up is worthy and accepted before the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's what it's all about, about getting ready. All right. Trimming your lamps. Okay. Come on. But these foolish virgins, go ahead. Let's read on. Con. Continuing on. Verse 8. Shalakia. Yeah, verse 8. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. Yeah, give us of your oil, for our lamps is gone out. Oil leaks, man. All right? Jake is out here losing it, bugging out. Demons plaguing them, blinded by their own thoughts, trying to come up another way. All right, changing up the doctrine to fit their narrative. All right, they're losing the oil. Go ahead. Con. Verse 9. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Right, right. And, uh, and the elder had made a heavy point earlier. We were talking. And he was saying, when this when this shit goes down, and and Jacob's trouble, and it gets real, all right, you're gonna these same guys that were in the spirit of disorder and rebellion, they're gonna be seeking unto us. What, what, what are y'all gonna do? What are y'all thoughts about this? You know, and we're gonna say, look, you figure it out. You go get it for yourself, right? right? You on your own, man. Go buy for yourselves, <laughs> right? right? Like Jake said, go get it out the mud, right? Go ahead. It's a terrible time to get it out the mud. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> uh, continuing on, verse 9 of Salakia, verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Woo, you see that? While they went to buy, while they went to go figure it out, right? Yahweh Shah came, and they that were ready right those wise virgins went in with him to the marriage what does that mean salvation yep. all right just hey just like it's in the time of noah okay noah built the ark they scoffed they didn't believe until what until it started raining and the angel came and shut the doors of that ark and that was it all right and it's going to be the same thing in this time all right they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut that's it go ahead Verse 11, afterward came also the other version saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Verse right, 12. right. Hey, mm -hmm. Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, open up to us. Right? Same time, hey, just like Noah, it was banging on the ark trying to get on the ship. You know? Go ahead. Verse 12, but he answered and said, verily I say unto you, I know you not. See? Yahweh Shai said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Linking that up with Matthew, the seventh chapter. All right. There's going to be many that's going to say, Lord, Lord. And the Lord is going to say, Hey, depart from me. All right. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity, man. And that's all them niggas out there that was coming in their own spirit, thought they had it all figured out. Right. You were ungovernable. You didn't need order. The apostles ain't the leaders. The apostles ain't shit. They just niggas. Right. All that is going to be accounted for in that time. And the Lord is going to tell them same individuals, I know you not. Right? But yeah, they was teaching. Yeah, they was teaching Yahweh Shai. They was so-called, you know, waking up the tribes. They was doing all of that, right? But the Lord going to come and say, I never knew you. Read on. Uh, can I add to your point? You got it. Because you made mention of, you know, Jake, you know, I hear profession. You know that they they teach Israel, but they coming against the the body, you know. Right. And ultimately, they're coming against Yahweh Shimei Shai in the order that he's established. Um, Matthew 
chapter 18. It's a lot good. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. You know? Beautiful. So a lot of these people that, you know, are offending the little ones, the believers, right? The elect, because ultimately, look, we, we're supposed to treat everyone as we would treat Yahweh Shai because nobody really knows who's in the reincarnation. Right. You know? So we're supposed to treat one another as we would treat Yahweh Shai. But these dudes that come up against the head elders and apostles and have, you know, they, they turn into this, this demon that scoffs and scorns, you know, and tries to cause division and strife and contention, right? right. That's that's bringing offenses, all right? And that's what's going to lead, and that's ultimately what's leading to their demise, Yeah, you know? All those things are going to be accounted for. That's right. Finish that last verse, Bible Krishna. Khan, this is uh, verse 13, Matthew uh, 25 and 13. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Right. So while all of this is going on, we're going to continue to prophesy. We're going to continue to watch and we're going to continue to, to, to trim our lamps and make ourselves ready for the coming of the Son of Man. All right. And Lord willing, we we be found worthy. That's what it's all about, because when the Lord comes. All right. There's going to be many that's going to be found without that wedding garment. They're going to be found naked. All right. Hold Matthew chapter 22 up. We're going to get straight to the point, but I want to get this. At Revelation 16, Got all right? It. Revelation 16 and 15, right? This is Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15, and it reads, it says, Behold, I come as a thief, all right? This is Yahweh Shai. He's coming as a thief in the night, as we just read in the scripture, all right, that we watch, okay? Continue to watch because we don't know, you know, when the Son of Man is coming. So it says, Revelation 16 and 15, behold, as a thief, blessed is he that watcheth. Whew, spirit. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. What does it mean to keep of his garments? To keep the truth. All right? To, to keep the oil. Mm -hmm. Okay? Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And what does it mean to walk naked? To be in sin, man. All right? And the Lord is going to find a lot of you niggas out there butt-ass naked, okay, in the time in his return. You're going to be shamefaced in that time. Okay. You thought you had it. All right. You thought you had it all figured out. You didn't need any, you didn't need any guidance. Right. You didn't need brothers. You was better than everybody. Right. Nobody could tell you nothing. You saw things. You wanted to do things your own way. Right. You, you, you taught, you teach the truth for strife and contention, vainglory, all of that, man. You're going to be found naked in the time of Yahweh by Shemel with Shah's return. Right. Let's go to Matthew 22. Okay. All right. Just, just want to make these points. You have something? Uh, no, sir. All you right. Can, so you want me to read that? Yeah, we're going to go to Matthew 22. We're going to get straight to the point. Okay. Let's go. Let's jump down to. Um, matter of fact, we'll read through the chapter and that'll be it. All right, cool. We'll read, uh, we'll read down to verse 1 through 14. God, this is uh, Matthew chapter 22 and verse 1. And Yahweh Shai answered and spake unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son. And the son is Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. He sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them that which tell them which are bidden, behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, <clears throat> and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. Right, the table is prepared. Right, this is this is uh this is like into the uh, uh the truth, you know. The table is ready. All right, you know Jake is getting the knowledge. He's eating it. The knowledge is likened unto a feast. All right, so the table is ready. Come eat. Right, those that were bidden, those that were worthy, uh, uh those with the uh. Those bidden to, to call those that were worthy, all right, worthy of the marriage, worthy of salvation. Go ahead. Verse 5. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. 
Yep. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These same wicked two thirds that are back in the reincarnation, right? That slayed the prophets. All right. And we see that now. That same mm -hmm. spirit of, 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 of the persecution and slaying the prophets is back on the earth now. Right. Go ahead. Verse seven. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their cities. Right. Yeah. How was Shah going to get with them? Mm -hmm. All right. He going to destroy them. Right. Like the Lord said in Luke 19 and uh, 27, you know, those that don't want me to uh, reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. Go ahead. Because, hey, you know, in the spirit is spiritual. You got men that are rebellion because they don't really want Yahweh Shah to reign over them. Okay? Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah set up order, rank and file on the earth, and you got men that don't want to abide by it. That's right. Right? So really they don't want Yahweh Shah to reign over them. They don't want to, they don't want to follow the proper conduct, if you will, in the lack of better words. Go ahead. Verse 8. Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Right, and that and, and that verse eight where it says, "Then he said to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy." That's why, you know, we have to try the spirits to see who is worthy of receiving the truth. Right, everybody ain't worthy. All right, as we going into the the highlight of this lesson, the Most High is making a clear separation, a sift. Go ahead. Uh, verse 10 so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found both bad and good right because you got a lot of jakes all right that came into the truth but essentially they weren't right <laughs> go ahead verse 11 uh, Salakia, verse 10 in the latter end and the wedding was furnished with guests verse 11 and when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Right. He didn't have on a wedding garment, which is basically having the correct doctrine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Verse 12. And he saith unto him, friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Right. Going back to the point. You got certain men. That crept into this thing unawares. All right. John the 10th chapter, as we read earlier. All right. Men not trying to come up the correct way. The Lord liking unto them as what? As a thief and a robber. So Yahweh Shah asked the question How camest thou hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless because <laughs> his ass was caught. All right. Go ahead. Verse 13. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth yeah destruction why because he wasn't supposed to be there right as we read in that first john was a 2 18 and 19 they went from us because they were not they were not of us mm -hmm. right go ahead verse 14 for many are called but few are chosen that's it for many are called but few are chosen. And Lord willing, we are part of the called and the chosen, man. That's right. All right? That's the point. That's pretty much it, man. You know, just wanted to make them points there, man. It's, it's, a, it's a clear separation. The Lord is making a clear distinction. All right? The Lord is causing the separation to sift. Take heed, man. You know, you got any other scriptures, brother? No, sir. That, that's, that's it. Okay, cool, cool. So, hey, Lord's will, this lesson was edifying, man. You brothers out there, stay humble, man. All right, stay in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Pray that Yahweh Hashem Shai doesn't take the Holy Spirit from you, that He doesn't take the oil from you, man. And just stay diligent, man. You know, because hey, Yahweh Hashem Shai is coming back to re to reward every man according to his deeds, man. All right, according to his works. You see, so we're in a time of uh, we're in a time of shaking, as you can see. Straight testimony to the remnant church: some will not stand the shaking. This is real. All right. The standard is too high. That, that's that's funny to me, man. But hey, pray this lesson was edifying. We're going to close it out by giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham. 
Rakak Padash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And double salutations to all you I came out there laboring in the house of David, the elect that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.